podcast and you can find me everywhere on the internet at moon underscore and underscore yarn and today's episode is all about my new wheel my firefly my spin lotion firefly and i figured it would be a good opportunity for us to talk about it since we have another wheel episode um but there's just not a whole lot of information about fireflies on youtube so I figured this is a good chance to do this today so turn it to face here um i have a 32 ounce bobbin on here that is not the biggest size i think you can get um as big as a 64 ounce bobbin which those from spin illusion only fit on the firefly and the monarch um, the nice thing about the Firefly and the Monarch is that you can use their flyer heads interchangeably, but I don't have a Monarch, so that doesn't really um, advertise to me, so that's fine. Um, I had a Ashford e-spinner, the Jumbo e-spinner, and I decided to upgrade to a Firefly because I actually have a Spin Illusion Echo and with the 32 ounce flyer, and I really wanted to just use my bobbins interchangeably. Um, I did like my Ashford Jumbo e-spinner, but I have found out that I like my Firefly more because I think it has a lot more power and this wheel, I feel like it's more structurally better than the Ashford in my opinion, um, but they definitely have their pros and cons for each wheel. But So we're going to go over everything to set up your... Spin Illusion Firefly. Okay. With your Firefly, um, the nice thing about it is that you're able to charge it um, and then have it unplugged to use it. So this is going to be great if you are going away for a weekend to take your wheel. Um, I've even seen people like spinning in their car. Um, it's just a lot more mobile friendly, which I really appreciate. Um, but you come comes with a power cord. Here is a really messy look at it. And it actually plugs in right into the front here. This other port here is actually for a foot pedal. Um, I've been using the foot pedal because I feel like it is very easy to control your wheel and stop it whenever you need to. But honestly, you don't even have to use the foot pedal to use it. So you can actually gonna adjust the speed to slow you can actually turn it on and it will go without the foot pedal I have been too scared to do this because I don't like that I don't have control of it <laughs> um, but then we have these buttons down here so we have the on and off switch down here and we also have a spin and ply and also just off so Can hit it for plying or spinning and you also have a knob to adjust the speed this thing can honestly go very fast that's only half speed i'm too scared to go as fast as it possibly could <laughs> um so that's really nice i really like the controls on it I like that it's all right there on the wheel right in front of you um, another thing is, like I said, this is the 32 ounce bobbin. Um, I have the hook on here. You can also get the orifice that is the pole. I don't know if that actually has a other name besides orifice with the tube pole. Um, I still want to get that one, but this, the hook has actually been really nice for spinning art yarn with. Um, so what I really like about this wheel is that the take up is a lot better than my Ashford Jumbo e-spinner. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I like to spin on my Firefly. Um, I've been practicing a lot of two-ply on it, which has been a great way to like learn how to use the wheel. Um, but you can also use um, core spinning and coiling and all your types of art yarn that you're going to want to use for. Um, that's why I got the 32 ounce bobbin because I can easily fill this up <laughs> very fast. Um, but yeah, the speed and everything is great for even spinning at thin yarns like lace weight yarns. Um, it's great for your big bulky yarns. Um, I really think that this wheel is great for everything that you're wanting to accomplish with your hand spun yarn. 
but yeah if you have any questions about the wheel just leave a comment and i will reply to you um but now we're just going to get some footage of me actually spinning on firefly 